when the scapegoat child gets older. If you are watching this video, it may be because you believe that you were the scapegoat child in your narcissistic family. The scapegoat child is blamed for all of the problems in dysfunctional families. It affects their mental health and emotional well-being. It sets them up to continue this role when they are older. The scapegoat child is the target of the narcissistic parent's anger. Narcissistic siblings may also target the scapegoat child. The scapegoat child will be invalidated. They will experience gaslighting. They will be blamed for everything, which causes them to become very cautious of their words and actions. They're afraid to speak. They're afraid to do anything. In case they say or do something their narcissistic family members don't approve of. The scapegoat child will experience the most significant effect on their mental health in childhood. It will affect them more than anyone else. Because throughout their entire childhood, they have been manipulated. They have been the victim of their narcissistic family members' rage. They have been gaslighted. They have been abused emotionally and sometimes even physically. Which can result in CPTSD when they get older. It can result in a lot of fear and anxiety. It can leave them depressed. They may also carry on where their narcissistic family members left off by doubting and blaming themselves. They may have low self-esteem. They may feel like they're not worth anything. So they will try to find ways to cope. They may resort to alcohol or drugs. They may engage in excessive shopping or gambling. They will develop some form of addiction. And they will experience a lot of difficulties and problems in relationships because they will unknowingly choose relationship partners, recreate what they had experienced in childhood. They will choose relationship partners who only confirm the narrative of them not being good enough. This causes the scapegoat child to settle for less than what they truly deserve. They may not accomplish things that they may be capable of because of the narcissistic parent's voice in their heads telling them they're not good enough telling them they're not worthy of anything good. The scapegoat child needs to recognize that their family was narcissistic. They need to recognize that they are not going to change and that they did deserve a better childhood. But unfortunately, they don't realize that until much later on in life, after they have been through so many dysfunctional relationships, where they are constantly blaming themselves. The scapegoat child always blames themselves they always think that they could have done better. 
they always think that they could have done more. Which causes them to feel a lot of guilt. They feel responsible for anything that went wrong. So they remain stuck in their narcissistic family or dysfunctional relationships, never feeling like they can go off on their own and away from toxic people. Because they feel responsible for those manipulative people who are constantly trying to hold them back and not let them become the person that they were meant to be. Because the scapegoat child is naturally gifted. Which is why narcissists and toxic people always want to be around them. Scapegoats have a natural ability, which they are often unaware of. But when you tap into that natural ability, it can really help you towards healing from the abuse that you endured in childhood. Scapegoats tend to be empaths. They have the ability to apprehend the mental and emotional state of another person. Scapegoats tend to have too much empathy because they created this fantasy in childhood of how they wish they were treated, which they then project onto other people. which then made them a good target for narcissists. Because narcissists know that someone who is empathic is less likely, likely to defend themselves. They would be more willing to go along with the narcissist agenda. Scapegoats tend to be overconcerned with other people's feelings and needs, which is something they learn to protect themselves in childhood because they always serve the narcissistic parents' feelings and needs to be avoid being abused. So when they get older, they learn to put other people's feelings and needs before their own. But this isn't always a bad thing. Because in a healthy relationship, empathy can be used as a gift. It can be used to support a healthy relationship. Where the other person does not see your empathy as a weakness. Or something that they can exploit. At some point, the scapegoat child may reach a point where they cannot take any more, where they become completely exhausted, where they set boundaries or decide to go no contact, because they remember everything they had to go through with their narcissistic family or in dysfunctional relationships, and they just don't want to do it anymore. They don't want to play that role because they just see you as their narcissistic supply. They see you as their emotional tampon. But when the scapegoat child finally realizes their worth, they're not going to be that for the narcissist anymore. They're not going to allow themselves to be manipulated. Because they realize that everything they learned in childhood really has nothing to do with them. It was nothing more than a projection of their narcissistic parents' own insecurities and inadequacies. When the scapegoat child finally realizes that, they will want to go no contact. Because they will understand that they don't need to fix anything. It's not their responsibility. It's their responsibility to support themselves from everything they went through but they don't have to take on another person's feelings of inadequacy. And when the scapegoat child is able to do this, 
they can be of great support to those who need it. To those who will not abuse them. Because empathy can be a gift. It can be used for good things. As a scapegoat child, you may have been through a lot in your childhood, but this doesn't have to be seen as a burden. It can be used to help other people. You can give the empathy that you never received from your family. What you give out comes back to you tenfold. Just make sure you give it to the right people. Don't share it with people who abuse it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.